Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. It is time for tip and trick number 37. So this is in relation to a kit when you are kitting up. So you've got your diamond painting you want to do, you pull out your diamonds and they could come in a few different ways. So some kits will come with diamonds, for example, in baggies. And that's great. You tip how many baggies you want into your pot. For example, the likes of bigger numbers, you might not be able to fit them all into your pot. If, say, you use, let me grab one. If, say, you use the likes of a round pot, they're not all going to fit in there. These probably will, but these won't. Um, if your diamond painting kit comes in bags, then it's great. You just leave the remaining ones in here and you can top up your pot as and when it's needed. The tip and trick for today is more when you have a different type of your diamonds come in a different way. So maybe they come in these little bags um, that hold about 200. Or maybe, let me, what was the other one that I had hold of? This one. Maybe they come in these sorts of bags where you've got long, long strips of diamonds. Sometimes you might have more than one bag. So this one has got two number 16s, um, one number 17. You know, so this one has lots and lots of bags. Now, quite often, <clears throat> you will find that, for example, one bag may well fit in one pot. Occasionally it doesn't, and your bag's already open. Um, so that's what can happen with these bags. You know, you'll open it up and you'll realise that whatever storage you're using, depending on what storage is your favourite, or what storage is free, if you have multiple ones kitted up, you may find that you can't fit all the diamonds out of these bags and you can't reseal them. In turn, you may also find that, so for example, oh look, here's that white again. Um, you have multiple bags here. Now in the past, I have just filled up one bag in my pot and then I've kept the bags with the diamond painting ready to open the bags as and when I need them. But as we all know, even myself who happens to have a cart that holds my diamond painting bits, you know, my pens, my trays, a handy pair of scissors, a handy pair of tweezers, the scissors is the first thing to disappear. And it will always disappear when you run out of the bag and you have to go find the likes of a pair of scissors. So one thing that I much prefer to do now and is my sort of handy tip and trick and it's pretty which always helps is to if you've got the types of these bags actually open them all up. when you're kitting up when you're getting your project ready fill up your little pot as much as you can and then get yourself some form of bag to put the remainder in so it could be the likes of these bags that I use so let me get one off. They're currently on a book ring. This is actually all the diamonds for my Minions painting. They've all been opened up. I have a few for black due to the nature of the painting. Um, but they're all got a little sticker, 310. And whenever I need to top up the likes of a pot, in fact, I need to actually top up the real pot. So let's do that. Um, I have a little funnel which for some reason does not seem to go missing the same way the scissors do. Um, you can tip them into a tray and then tip them into the pot. I just find that the funnel's handy because it's there. And I just tip them in and I sort of know what line it needs to go to in the funnel to, to well, close enough. It's not quite filled the pot, I'll probably get away with a few more. But that is my pot refilled, that goes back into my storage and if there's anything left in this bag, as there is, it goes back onto my book ring. 
and I find that so much easier to store. These actually hang off my little cart um, just on the side. They look very pretty, I think. Well, I've even got extra ABs. Um, they look very pretty hanging off my cart and everything is unbagged. And I find it so much easier than having you know a bag of little bags especially if you've got quite a big painting with a lot of colors so this could be my spares and I'm like oh I need a color I need a color and you root you're either rooting through or you're pulling them all out just to find that 310 that you need to top up and it's always the, the thing that you only have one bag of that you need to top up and you're rifling through until you manage to find it. So I do find that having them in some form of baggy, whether it's something like this on a book ring or whether you use something similar to these types of bags and maybe have them stood up in a little pot, you know, the free bags that you get with kits. Maybe you have them together. Maybe you could even use some of those little clips. You know, the little clips you can get for like hanging curtains. Maybe you could use a little clip to keep hold of them, to keep them all together. Something like that and basically get your little bags down into some form of single bag when you're kitting up. And you will find that it is a lot easier um, and a lot nicer to refill your diamonds when you're in the middle of doing a diamond painting and want to, of course, keep going on and dot, 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 dot. So that's my tip and trick for today. When you kit up a painting, make sure you open all the bags, unless, of course, they come in baggies and they work for you, but get all of them open and either get them into your little pots or get them... <coughs> contained in your section of extras whether that be these types of bags or grip seal bags so that you can keep all your diamonds contained and it's a lot quicker when you're actually doing the exciting stuff though I do like getting up so both of it's exciting to me anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon